to something you might not expect to hear. Knoxville is not doing what it should to keep up with other cities its size when it comes to the economy. That's a new report from the Knoxville Chamber. Leaders say the city has to attract younger people to move here and to stay in East Tennessee. Here's our Kristen Allen. Transitioning Knoxville's economy for the imagination age. That's the title of a new briefing released by the Knoxville Chamber outlining the city's need for economic growth. While our economy is good, you know, it really is. We have some, some large anchor employers that are very steady employers. Uh, we have low unemployment. Uh, our average annual pay has increased. The report shows Knoxville is behind when it comes to average annual pay compared to other similarly sized cities. The chamber's vice president of regional development says a higher median income is vital to getting people to move and stay in East Tennessee. The chamber especially wants to bring in people ages 25 to 54. We really want to focus on on growing that demographic because those are those are employees that are going to and they're entrepreneurs and their homeowners and the people that are really going to fuel our economy. You know, Knoxville has been growing a lot. I, I meet transplants all the time now. Emily Stokesbury falls into that demographic and helps people adjust to living in East Tennessee through the organization New to Knox. As someone who moved here and decided to stay, I can say like there are so many beautiful things about this city that are worth celebrating. She says for younger people to move to Knoxville, cost of living has to become more affordable. Apartments are getting hard to find and they're getting more expensive and I think realistically to have young people come and be excited about staying, the price of living needs to be reasonable. Nolan agrees and says getting more high paying jobs to the city is a big part of bringing cost of living down. And when we need prosperity for everybody, you know, that average annual pay is very important. In Knoxville, Kristen Allen, WVLT News. And the chamber here is also working with schools and UT to encourage young people to stay in Knoxville when they enter the workforce and start their families here.